and we are here hello guys welcome back to another video on the channel I know I haven't posted in a while I pretty much say that probably every video lately but anyways today we are going to be doing sorry if my voice is like kind of quiet but today we're going to be doing an MLB roster builder and <clears throat> so basically um it's kind of like um like my dream team but current MLB because I don't think you can get like current I mean like um I don't think you can get like Yeah, I don't think you can get like old time players. So basically, we're just going to be So it's basically like only current players currently playing dream team. So we we start off at catcher um, let's see. So, I'm a big fan of Salvador Perez. He can hit lots of bombs. Not the best defensive catcher, but great offensive. Same thing with Yasmani Grandal. But, I am a biased, um, uh, Royals fan, so I just have to go for Salvi. Alright, first base. Let's see what we have. Um, this is going to be hard. There's a lot of first basements I like out there. I really like to put, um, I like to give Rizzo a chance. But honestly, Vladdy Guerrero, you just honestly have to put Vladdy on the team. The fact that he's a young and upcoming superstar, he already is a superstar. And he hit over 40 home runs this year, it's just crazy. So, I have to put him at first base. Second base. Um, not many good second basemen out there currently. But if I had to pick someone at for second base, I'd probably have to pick... Um, hmm, this is going to be hard. I think I'll, I'm going to pick Marcus Semyon. He can again hit bombs. And a good defensive player. Third base. Okay. Um, without a doubt, it has to be Nolan Arenado. Third base is not really a well-known position anymore. There's not really, like, well-known players at the third base position. But Nolan Arenado, you know, you... If you know baseball, you know who Nolan Arenado is. So, we have to put him at third. Shortstop, without a question. Little, just without a question. You have to put Fernando. Literally, just, uh, why wouldn't you put Fernando there? He is a great player. He does everything. So, a lot of these players are just, like, my f some of my favorite players. So, um, like, Fernando, one of my favorites. Vladdy, I'm not a big fan of him, but, like, you know, I could be. Like, I'm not, I don't, like, hate him. Sal Salvi, I like him a lot. Marcus Semien, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm a Rangers fan. Left field. All right. So, I might have to put Mike Trout there. Actually, I think I'll put him in center field. So, for left field, I think I'm going to put... Um, I might have to put a Q Badu there. Just because he, is, he has great defensive capa cap capabilities. And he's fast. And mostly, a lot of balls get hit to left field. Uh, mostly just for, like... Um, uh, defensive reasons, I'm going to get him. He isn't, like, your average, like, um, good hitter, but he can do some very savvy defense on the side. And center field, another without a doubt one. We also have to get Trout up in here. Why can't I find Mike Trout, huh? Okay, I don't know what's happening. It isn't letting me put down Mike Trout, so... Um, jeez, okay, this website's weird. So, we got Q Badu, and I just messed it up. I probably just messed it up. What the heck? This is weird. What's happening? Um... Is 
his loading roster. I'm honestly just gonna let it load up. Okay, I think we might have to reset real quick. I don't have a problem with that because I mostly pick the players at the top. Load that up. Sorry guys for a little wait. I haven't really like Peter's being really laggy all of a sudden. Probably because it's a low battery but it's charging anyways. Alright, let me just go ahead and get this. Uh what is Vladdy. I forgot Robinson Cano was still even in the MLB. I think he's injured. I think he was injured. Alright. And then shortstop. I don't know why Fernando's all the way at the bottom. That's kind of dog water. Best shortstop. In the sh best shortstop in the game. Okay. Let's reset this. So, Mike Trout, he's a center fielder, but saying his, he's a left fielder. So, um, I'm going to put Trout up in left field because I was going to put Trout in center field. But then it obviously, you know glitched out so um, we got him there and then now we have center fielders I, I never really said if this was gonna be players in their prime but I guess you know uh, I can't really find anybody here why not we'll get um, Cody in there. This is everybody's in their prime. So Cody Bellinger in his prime is an absolute beast. So you know we, we already have to have him over in center field, and you guys already know what I'm gonna have him right field. My favorite player, Aaron Judge. You know, gotta get, gotta get him in there. Now we have to pick all of our starting pitchers, relief pitchers, and then there's all these flex flexible guys. So I'm not even gonna pick the flexible guys. What even are these guys? Like managers? Oh no, I think these are just separate guys. Or like, yeah, it might be that. All right, so now we have to go into pitchers. For starting pitcher, uh, first one in our bullpen, we have to get Jacob Degrom in there. One of the best pitchers in the game right now. If he wasn't injured, he would have had a Cy Young season, just like he had last season. But you know. It is what it is. Everybody gets injured. Um, our other starter is going to be Marcus Stroman. Now, you guys are probably going to be like, Gibson, Dingers TV, whatever. Yeah, I said it's revealed my real name, but Dingers TV, why would you put Marcus Stroman in at the second rotation spot? Ask me why. I'm a Stroman fan. As a fan of the Yankees, and um, the Yankees are kind of like a Mets rival, I really like Marcus Stroman. I know he's on the Cubs now, but he's a super athletic, young, superstar caliber pitcher. So I honestly have to put him in there. We want an athletic, awesome pitcher on in our rotation. I know I have all those other guys that could choose from, but I had to pick Stroman. Um, another one. Okay, I really don't all trust Garrett, Garrett Cole, but in his prime, he's a god. But, I'm going to try to be smart with my bullpen. Uh, young Lance McCullers Jr. Young, he's very young pitcher. An absolute ace. So we have to get him in there. We want a young, good rotation. Now I'm going to have... Um, what's the other ones I can get in here? Um... Shohei, yes sir. Okay, we have to have Shohei. We have to have Shohei. It's just a fact. Shohei, great hitter, two-way player. He can actually play off field and stuff, so we have to have him in. And our last starting pitcher, we're going to probably go for Max Scherzer. At the bottom. I only picked Max Scherzer because, just because Max Scherzer, he doesn't really have a, a lot of time left with him in baseball. I'm not saying like, that in a way like he's gonna die soon I'm just saying he doesn't really have that much time left in the baseball world 
as he's gonna get older and older and older so he's only gonna get worse as his years goes on maybe but who knows so I honestly put him down there he'll still be a good ace and now we're going on relievers now one of my favorite players currently one of my favorite relievers I honestly just have to put in Craig Nope, psych. Oh, Rodis. I know he is a closing pitcher. Yeah, see, look, um, um, reliever and closer. We have to, we have to put a Rodis in. He's one of my favorite players. I know he's done a lot of bad things in the past. Um, that aren't like, aren't like actually proven to be true. But I still like him as a player. He's really good. Um, uh, great, great to have in the lineup. <laughs> And for our second reliever, I'm going to go ahead and put, um, let's see here, Corey Knabel. I know you, this is also like an option that's like, geez, why are you picking these guys? Just because they could be really efficient in their prime. They could be really, really, really good. And uh, Corey Knabel is good, so. Yes. And our other reliever, all the guys, all the... All the guys are at the bottom. So, Matzek. Zero no day. Kirby Yates. I forgot Kirby went to the... To Atlanta. Nick Anderson, yes. He's at the very bottom, but Nick Anderson... Yeah, absolute beast. Absolute beast. For Tampa Bay. It is only get... Un, is only getting paid about a million dollars. So, that's crazy. We'll also get Craig up in here. Then for our closer, we are going to go with the one and only Ryan Presley. Ryan Presley is probably my favorite closer besides Aurora Chapman. He's a Texas native like me. And, um, you know, it's good. It's going to be good. And now we have to pick. I'm going to pick up a backup catcher real quick. Um good backup catcher because we also have like a payroll thing which is also really cool if you'll let me pick some some of these guys it won't all right this is my final um oh there it is oh dang it go out go out go out go out come on dude go out please Please go out, go out, go out, go out, go out, go out. Come on, go out. It really has to be laggy on me. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. Okay, guys. Okay, okay. My screen is being kind of weird right now. Okay, Salvador Perez as our catcher. If I had to pick a backup catcher, I'm gonna go for Omar Navias. So okay, so catcher in our Salvador Perez and our backup is gonna be Omar Navias from the Brewers. We have Vladdy Guerrero Jr. at first base. Marcus Simeon at second base. Nolan Arnauto at third. And, of course, Nando at shortstop. Um, please stop. Yes! Perfect. Okay. Now we, yep, Nando at shortstop. Left field, we have Trout. Fishy. Um, center field, we have Cody Bellinger. Right field. The Judge, Aaron Judge. Starting pitchers, um, you have Jacob DeGrom, Marcus Stroman, Lance McCullers Jr., Shohei Otani, Max Scherzer. Then we have um, Aurotis Chapman, Corey Knable, Nick Anderson, Craig Krimble, and Ryan Presley in my bullpen. And then um, we have all these things down here that I don't even know what mean. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I have no clue how long this has been going for. Doesn't even say. I don't care though. But anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Um, yeah. Just overall, have a great day. I will put um the link to this in the description, so you guys may check it out for your own on your channel. Um, and anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.